Welcome back to Janice S's channel. Today I will be showing you on how to make these beautiful Christmas flowers. I made this one in red and this one I made in green. And these flowers, you can use them as a Christmas ornaments. You can use them for your tree. And I think it's a really good idea to use these um, to hang them up on your Christmas tree. As you can see, I already have my Christmas tree ready for Christmas. And I decided that I would make these little ornaments for my tree. So once you have your um, flowers made, you can hang them up on your Christmas tree and they will look really pretty. And these flowers that I made, um, they have glitter on them, and I will be showing you on how to make these. They're really simple to make, and this is a great project for um, small children, if you have any, or grandchildren, and your grandchildren will love to make these projects. It's so simple, and I will be excited to show everyone on how to make these. Before I get started, I wanted to let you guys know that there are several options that you can make these flowers. Um, for this one, I use glitter. As you can see, I have glitter on all my petals here. And then also in the center, I put a little piece of construction paper on there first. And then after I put some glitter on there. The other option is I made this one in red. And it's a little bit different than the first one. On this one here, I put a sequence in the middle of the flower, which is another option that you can do. And I also use red glitter to make it stand out a little bit better. And then I put a little string at the end, and this you can hang it on your Christmas tree. So I will be showing you the materials that you will need in order to make these really easy flowers. Okay, so the first thing is you will need glue. You can use Elmer's glue, school glue, which is fine. You will also need a box of markers. Then you will also need, uh, if you want to use sequins for your flowers, you can use them as well. And you will need yarn. This is to make the string to hang it up. Then you have uh, different types of glitter. You can use any color. I have green, I have purple, I have rainbow colors all mixed, I have red, and I have white glitter. So you can use any glitter you like. It's optional. If you don't want to use glitter, that's fine. But I think if you use a little bit of glitter on your flowers, it'll look really pretty and sparkly. And then also you need scissors and you need a stick. And the reason why you need a stick is because when you start gluing um, you know, the glitter onto the petals, you would have to um, even it out and then put the glitter on top. You will also need some paper. And it's really important if you have paper because once you start gluing your flowers um, together, uh, you want to make sure that glue doesn't start running down on the table. So it's very important to have some protection on your table or wherever you decide to make them. And the most important thing is you need um, empty toilet paper rolls. You can use as many toilet paper rolls as you want depending on how many ornaments you are going to make. And that's optional. So the more you save, the more ornaments you'll have um, in order to make uh, for your tree. Okay, so basically um, I will start this project and I will show you how to make it. And I'm very excited. The first thing that you want to start off with is your toilet paper roll. The first thing that you are going to do is you are going to flatten the toilet paper roll. Make sure they're flat on both sides. Okay, once it's all flat, and then with your ruler, you are going to measure half an inch from the end. 
and then you are going to cut it from that point. Now I already have a sample here that I already cut up and it'll be a lot easier if you have a little sample to start off with. This is your little guide. So once you have it to the half an inch and then you are going to cut it all the way down. And the length of this piece is 2 16 of an inch. But the most important thing is to make sure it's half an inch for each one. So once you have it marked, then you are going to get a pencil and then you are going to mark it. Okay, with your pen or your pencil, you are going to mark it and that's where you're going to cut all the way down. Okay, so let's start with the first one. So you already have the mark there. And then you are going to cut it all the way across like that, okay? Then now with the next one, you will do the same thing. You mark it here and then I will cut it. So basically you'll be cutting all these all along and you can make your petals a little bit wider. You can make them half an inch. It's optional. You can make them as wide as you want. So that's all up to you. But today I will be showing you on how to make these a half an inch. And you will need six petals total in order to make this flower. Okay, so you have one, two, three, four, five, and six. So you have six petals here. So once you have your six petals, the next thing would be before you start gluing them, um, I will get one of these petals and depending on what color I am going to make them, uh, first I'm going to get my marker and then I will color this part here, one of the petals, in whatever color you choose. So I will be coloring this on both sides of my petal. And if you want, you can also paint it. That's another idea you can use. It's a lot faster. And then you turn this around and you do the same thing on both sides. The only thing is that if you decide to paint them, um, you have to let it completely dry before you go on to the next step. Okay, so once you have that done, the next thing is you will um, start painting with the watercolors. You will start painting them inside. And this part here, you will start painting them to get it all in the same color as orange like you did out here because you don't want to have the orange out here and brown in here because when you make the flower, then this is very noticeable. So I will show you how I did that. Okay, I got a little cup of water here and I just put in my brush, get it wet a little bit here, soak it in. And then since I'm using the color orange, and then I will use um, orange color as well. And then I will start painting it in the inside of it. So 
So then you turn it around to the other side and you do the same thing as well. And this will give it a nice finish. Okay, so you have all that covered up. And then the next thing is once you have this all dried up, uh, if you want, you can add some glitter. Now with the glitter part, it's very important that you have some kind of paper or a newspaper um, laid flat on the table because now I will be putting some glitter onto the petals here. But the first thing is that I will open this glitter container and then I will put some glitter on my paper. You don't need a lot because you just need it for the petals. Once you have that, then the next option would be to put the glue on top of the petal all around it and then I'll show you how to put the glitter after. Now the reason why I'm using this stick that I mentioned before is because once you put the glue onto the petal, you want to spread it a little bit so it doesn't start dripping down. So let me show you how I did this. And you don't need to put a lot of glue, you just put a little bit at a time. Because the more glue you put on here, the longer it'll take to dry up. So just dab it a little bit, put it all the way around till you get to the other end of the petal. Now with the stick, you can use a toothpick, anything that has a pointy uh, end here, which, which works fine. Okay, you might need a little bit more glue on this side. So that way the glitter will stick on it right away. Okay, so now what I do is I close the petal up and I dab it into the glitter like this gently and the glitter should start sticking to the cardboard. And you can put as much glitter as you want. And that's how the glitter should start sticking to it. So once you have this done, then you do the same thing with the other petals. Now before you start joining them together, it's very important that you let the glitter dry and the glue all together because otherwise if you start gluing all the petals together it can get really messy. So um, I already went ahead and I did the other petals so that way I can show you on how I form the flowers. So this one I am using the color red so as you can see I already have the glitter on there and it just takes a couple of hours to dry, it doesn't take long. So now I will show you how to form it. Now I'm ready to form my flower. So I am going to get one petal and then I will put some glue over here. Okay, and then I will get my other petal and then I will glue it on to that part where I put the glue. And then I will hold it there for a few seconds. And if you want, in order for the petals to glue uh, much you know, faster, you can use a clip, you can use a paper clip 
just to hold them in place. Okay, so I already have my two petals. Now I'm ready to go on to the next petal. And I will put some glue on my next one. And then with the stick, you can just spread it around evenly. And then you put the next petal next to it and hold it firmly. So you just continue doing this until you complete the six petals all together. And then you just spread it here a little bit and then you attach it to the next petal. And I'll be back and I will show you how it turned out. Now I am back because now the flower seems to be dry and there is the flower. That looks really pretty. Okay, if you want to add a little detail to your flower here, you can add some sequins here. So I'm going to cut a little piece off of here. And then I will put some glue in the center of my flower. And then I will put this in the center. Might need a little more glue. You can put it on the sequins as well. That way you have it all nice and even. And then I would just place it on top of the flower. Let it sit here for a little bit until the glue dries a little bit. Okay, this is how the flower looks with the little sequins there into center. That looks really pretty, doesn't it? Okay, so now my next thing would be to get a little bit of yarn. And this is going to be attached to the flower. So that way you're able to hang it up on your Christmas tree as an ornament. So I would just put it right over underneath the petal over and then I will make a knot and then I just cut off a little piece of the yarn and there you have the flower and now it's ready to be, um, hang, be hanging up on your Christmas tree. So now let me show you the other ones that I made. So this one was the one I made with you guys today. Then I have this green one. This is another idea. You can either have this in the center, that little sequence there, or you can use a little construction paper, make a circle and glue it onto your flower and then add some glitter on top. And then the last one I made was another one that's identical to this one. So you have different options on how to decorate your flowers. It all depends on how creative you are. And you can make them any style. Um, you wanna make the petals to be a little bit wider. You can make them a lot narrow. It all depends on what you think looks best. And you can make them any different colors if you like. You can make them orange, you can make them purple, make them really colorful. 
So anyways, thanks for watching my video today. It was a pleasure to share my ideas with you. And if you are into crocheting, cooking, and arts and crafts, make sure to subscribe if you have not done so. And have a wonderful day and I will see you guys soon because I will be making some more videos for you um, pertaining to Christmas and other videos as well. So leave a comment in the section below. Let me know what you think about my flowers that I showed you today. And I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.